Hey folks, Mike here at Chasing Trail doing another first impressions video today. It's cooled enough, cooled off enough here this evening that I felt like I could do another ride. So now I am on a Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. I did sell my Street Glide ST and got this instead. This is the first bike that got me interested in Harleys. And it was the first bike that I wanted. I can't see shit with the sun right there. Sorry, camera angles gonna suck. I gotta put my head down to avoid that sunlight for a minute. So I'd wanted to buy one about a year ago, but they were in huge demand and dealers just were not making any kind of, not even, though they weren't making deals, they weren't even selling them for anything remotely reasonable because they didn't have to. There was a lot of markup on them, they were hard to find, and I just wasn't willing to pay a bunch of markup to have one right now that coupled with I was just about to buy one again before I bought the street glide because you're actually seeing them on at dealers you're seeing them on the used market stuff now and it was just about to pull the trigger when I found that street glide ST very lightly used and I wanted to give that a try before I settled on this. Settled isn't the right word, but I wanted to try the touring platform. It did fit me better, it was a little bit more comfortable. And for the price I got that one for, it would have been, if I'd gone straight to the Lowrider ST, it would have been in the back of my mind should I have gotten a touring platform bike and now I know I cannot see a fucking thing okay coming this direction this time of day was a mistake fortunately I won't be going this way for much longer so now I know what the touring platform is about and it's great if you're going to go touring if you're going to ride two up if you want to take a lot of luggage or just if you're a big dude and it fits you better. And I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons to the Street Glide ST just because that's what I just came off of and it makes sense. I know a lot of people cross shop the touring models with this bike. I certainly have. So I'm going to be taking it real easy on this bike. As you can see it only has 21 miles on it. Still very much on the break-in period. They said to take it easy the first 500 miles. After that, I can kind of do whatever. It's 100% bone stock right now. So it's a little too quiet. I am going to be putting a pipe on it, but not until after that break-in service is done. So the first thing you'll notice jumping on this from a Street Glide ST is that it feels much lighter because it is, it's 100 pounds lighter. Just getting it up off the side stand, it is much easier to pick up. Backing it up out of the garage, it feels, I mean, it's still a heavy bike, 720 pounds, but it feels considerably lighter than the Touring bikes. Seating position is not quite as comfortable. My legs are more bent, for sure. <clears throat> but I don't find it uncomfortable. It was strange the first time I rode one because I'd never ridden anything with the seating position like this, but I don't find it uncomfortable. The stock suspension on this bike is better than the upgraded suspension I had on the Street Glide. I think the stock suspension on here is quite good. I certainly don't have any immediate plans to do anything to it. I find the stock handlebars to be great and perfect for me. 
No plans to change those. Stock mirrors are fine. I don't plan to do a whole lot to this bike. A couple minor things, some for comfort, some for cosmetics, but not a whole lot. I think in stock form, this bike is pretty damn good. You do feel more vibrations on this than you do on the touring bikes. I can feel them in the foot pegs. I can feel them in the handlebars. I don't feel any in the seat. But I certainly wouldn't say they are bad vibrations. Uh, we'll see. This ride should be long enough to tell me if I'm going to get any in my hands or feet, but I don't expect that I'm going to. I'll follow up on that at, as I get closer to home at the end of this ride. The handling on this bike feels much sportier than the touring bike, which shouldn't be a surprise. I've been trying to think about how to articulate how that feels. This one's just really tight, I guess is the best way I can put it. Where everything on the touring bike feels a little looser, everything on this feels really tight and much more precise. And I like that. But I don't do touring as much as I would like to. If I do end up doing any touring, it's going to be for like a weekend and probably only once or twice a year and I will never be going two up I will only ever be riding solo so for my use case and most of my ridings like stuff like this twisty bumpy back roads and and this environment this is definitely the better bike for me personally the street glides great and it can certainly handle roads like this too, just fine. So this bike has the same 117 motor that my Street Glide did. Feels very similar, obviously. However, it is it feels considerably peppier in this bike just because it's so much lighter. And you definitely notice. Here we are going across Keswick Dam. This bike is a real joy to ride. If you're a Harley person, you should definitely try this bike. If you're not a Harley person, you should still try this bike. So my friends had asked what bike I got. Fuck six, I can't see. Primarily so they can start the new bedding pool. And I realized I didn't really have any good pictures. I have a spot in mind over here. So I'm gonna go snap some pics. And then I will uh, hop back on and head home. Bunch of deer right there. More deer right there. Okay, here's our photo op. Alright, I got my photo op. Right up here to the uh, Vista Point overlooking Shasta Lake. See the dam right there. This will look tiny on camera. Mount Shasta there in the distance. Lake still nice and full. There's Chappie down there, our off-road OHV area. Beautiful place. <coughs> All right, let's carry on. See how first impressions are. I love it. 
No issues with uh, tingling in my fingers or feet from the vibrations. Only thing that was a little numb was my ass from the seat. Sock seat's not bad, but I've already got one ordered. Basically the same exact seat I had for the Street Glide. Not the same exact, they're, they're different models for the Bagger and the Softail, but same manufacturer, Whiplash, same color scheme. That seat was really nice, really well made, really comfortable, and matched the bike perfectly. So, other than that, uh, like I said, a few minor things. It'll get a pipe. Ordering some different levers. Mostly just because I get some carpal tunnel. So getting some levers with a little easier pull is nice. These aren't bad. I, I could be fine with these, but easier is better. And beyond that, uh, not too much else. I really like the way this bike is. Just the way it is. Got to chatting with a gentleman up there who was the second president of the Reading Dirt Riders, a group I'm a member of. He helped build all the trails, he was involved in the, the building of all the trails out there at our OHV park. It's cool to get to chat with him for a bit. Probably see him at one of the upcoming meetings. Cooled off quite a bit. It feels really nice right now. Feeling like I should take some more of these evening rides. Just gotta watch out for deer. Got this bike at Shasta Harley Davidson. Formerly Reading Harley Davidson. They are under new ownership as of this last week. It's formerly owned by a father and son who'd owned it for a long time been purchased by the Wise Group. I believe this is now their eighth Harley dealership. They also own Eureka, Reno, Yuba City, Coronado, Orange, Death Valley, and Old Town Temecula. So I've heard this is happening to more and more dealerships getting bought out by bigger groups. <clears throat> Not sure how to feel about that. We'll see how it pans out. Unfortunately, I've heard that some of the smaller dealerships are kind of getting pushed out. And I heard recently that Harley is mandating that all the dealerships remodel at their own expense to adopt more of a brand standard. Harley wants all their dealerships to look the same. So we'll see how that works out as well. Mike feels great on the freeway. Not quite as good as the Street Glide, but this is what the Street Glide is made for. The slightly more, the more tight feeling that feels great on the twisty roads. Here it makes it feel slightly twitchier and I can feel it kind of moving behind the trucks and stuff like behind this van I can feel it moving side to side ever slow slightly by the wind it's not bad at all but the, the street I mean I could sit here with one hand no issues no concerns but the street glider was rock solid I mean it just felt like a tank this doesn't have quite as much stability but it's just fine. But yeah, if you're just going to be on the highway and freeways and stuff most of the time, you're definitely going to like the touring platform better, which I'm a real, I, I seem to really enjoy stating the obvious all the time. So there you go. See how it feels going past these trucks. No different, about the same. 
I feel it moving around a tiny bit. Uh, I was a little worried the vibrations would be bothersome, but uh, for me, they're not. They're just enough I can tell the thing's on. Because I can't hear it with the stock exhaust. Stock exhaust is too quiet. I don't want obnoxiously loud, but this is too quiet. This bike feels much better over all the small bumps and, and cracks in the road and stuff than the street glide did. A good test before I turned the camera on was going out Clear Creek Road, which just is section after section of those little cracks in the road where you get these rapid, sharp little hits, and I barely noticed them on this. It's actually really nice riding this time of night. I'm going to do this more often. Not hot, no sun in my eyes. I love it. Not a lot of traffic out. You can definitely feel the heat coming off the engine if you sit here for any length of time. I usually shut the motor off here, but I knew the light was about to turn. I was worried that these mids weren't going to work for me, but they're fine. Not going to mess with that either. Oh shit, it's still going. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.